my people and welcome to our channel. I have really missed you. I have really missed you. Nimewa miss kabisa kabisa. Now, I come again. This is Mili by the way. It's the same Mili Kihu. I come again with yet another video and I'm um, happy that you have been encouraged by the videos that we have done in the past. Thank you for watching. Thank you even for subscribing. Thank you for sharing. Continue sharing to your friends. You can help them. You can encourage them. You might not have words to encourage them, but you can encourage them by sharing our videos. By so doing, we are growing together, my people. Ama VP. Yes, we said we are growing together. I have come again with yet another thrilling and a very interesting and a very nice topic for the video today. And the topic for today is... Now, what is the title of our channel? Our channel's title is Life is Still Beautiful. Life can still be beautiful no matter what. And that is why I always keep reminding you, make your life beautiful, enjoy this life. But, I mean, have fun, be happy, be full of vigor, be full of strength, because life is still beautiful. Encourage yourself, rise. By the way, to me, to keep a story. Na piga stories and yazina to pair like, whoo, me atanaskia too. Hey, this life. It is very unpredictable. By the way, as we sit today, do you remember what has happened just a few days ago? We have lost so many lives, so many lives, so, pe so many people who are like, they were happy. You saw how happy they were. They were going for a celebration because a wedding is a celebration. They were going to unite with the family and friends. They were going to enjoy. But what happened? Life was cut short by the cruel hand of death. May their souls rest in peace. And we pray that God will give comfort to all the family members, to all the friends, to all the churchmates who have been touched by the death of the few, uh, of, the, of, the, of the many lives that have been lost. As we speak today, uh, the, 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 the topic that we have today is about having a brook. What is a brook, by the way? Having a brook or having a well or having a spring. I have a brook. That is the topic of today. Our video today says, I have a brook. I have a well. I have a spring. Each one of us, all those who are watching us today, all those who are watching us in this video, I know that each one of you has a brook. What brook do I want to mean? What well do I want to mean? And what spring do I want to mean? You know, when you are thirsty, you need to have somewhere you can get some water to quench your thirst. Some just sweet water. Some just cool water. Some cold water. I remember the other day, uh, before the rains came, my brother came in my house and he was like, Hakini peni maji. Now when you have ile maji iko baridi kabisa nimetafuta kwangu nimekosa maji yenye iko baridi kabisa nimekosa aki nitafutie ni tu ile baridi kabisa then i remembered kuna maji nilikuwa nimeweka na chupa then nilikuwa nimeiweka tu kwa flow so imaji ilikuwa imeka hapo for like 3 weeks so it was chilled then nikaenda nikamchotea na glass nikampatia ha you know what alipogonga glass mbili Mtu alijiangusha kwa kiti ya kanza kutupea story. So I was like, oh, this is what this young man needed. So we need something to quench our thirst. We need a source for that cold, chilled, cool, nice. Ah, ako kamaji. Si unajua tu? I know you, you understand ako kamaji kenye nasema venye kanaka. Ata sahi, kama uko na kiu, I know you can feel that ka coolness of that water. So we need a place to fetch that water. We need a, to have a place to get that cool water, that cool sweet water, that water that can cool our heat. And so, each one of us has a brook. And not just a brook, we have brooks. Apo meleni, tumekua tukiongea stories a... Oh, you know, akapata sijui msibagani, sijui haka gonjeka, sijui nikafanya nini. You know, zote zilikuwa zile za, oh, oh, oh. But today, I want to change the theme. 
I want to change the style. I at least want to bring you something that will cheer you up, something that will make you feel, I mean, at least I have something. And so we have several brooks that I'm going to talk about today. Uh, there's a friend of mine, Aliniambia, where squeeze, squeeze at least na, na, na is a, I, I, can, I can give you a thumbs up. Umeanza kuni, umeacha kuni lecture. So I don't want to sound like I'm lecturing you, by the way. So my friend, today I'm not lecturing you. So we have several brooks that I'm going to talk about, that I'm going to bring to you. Not things that you don't know. You know, say, say ukiambiwa a new, like, uneza ambiwa a word, then you start thinking so wide, you start thinking so big about that word. No, it's just simple. The first brook that we have is ourselves. I have a brook called myself. Yani, I have a well called myself. I have a spring called myself. From within me, it comes out springs. I, I have read that from the Bible. That from within us comes out springs of life. Within us comes, up, uh, comes out springs of revival. What kind of a revival? Reviving ourselves from where we fall, where we fail, where we have not been able to achieve. It brings up our spirits. It brings us up and then we are like, who? At least I am somewhere. So within ourselves, we have a well that we can fetch, that we can get that cool water from. How should I take care of that well? The way to take care of your, of your well is just simple, by finding happiness. When you're happy, that well keeps bringing cool water. When you're happy, that well keeps bringing you brightness. It keeps making you glow. It keeps you energized by making yourself, by keeping yourself happy. Remember last time, the, 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 I think it was the second video or something, we said that self-esteem is about having a positive outlook on oneself. That alone gives you happiness. That alone gives you joy, an inner joy that nobody can take away from you. When you have an inner joy, you have a, a, a big smile and a broad smile that will attract even people to you. It will attract good vibes. You know, we talked about nice vibes and good vibes. You remember that? Yeah. So it is the good vibes that will bring us joy from within. We get out of negativity. We just find happiness for ourselves. There are so many ways that you can look for happiness for yourself and you know how you get your happiness. And when you get that broad smile, let nobody, let no one take away a smile from you. Because that smile was put there just for you. No one can smile for you. You are the only one who can smile for yourself. Then you can reward yourself. How do you reward yourself? By make sure, making sure that your body is not fatigued. When you feel that you're tired, just find rest. Go and get a rest. If it feels, if you feel like sleeping will give you the rest, go do it, my friend. Go do it. Go do it for the sake of yourself. Again, when you feel like this is what I want to eat, go and eat. But make sure that whatever you put in does not bring out an outcome that will harm you that will hurt you. Sometimes, you know, we feel like, today I feel like spoiling myself. Una know, una spoil, una spoil, una spoil, una spoil. The next minute, una rudi kwa nyumba and you're like, guy, I regret today. What did I do? Where did I go? Why did I buy these things? Why did I, you know, the body will always, the self within us will always ask for so many things. It will always ask for even some things that are crazy. Mind what you do with the self in you. So the brook called myself, it needs to be accepted the way it is. Accept yourself. Know that I am fearfully and wonderfully made. And I have a creator who is proud of me just as I am. There is nothing much I can do about myself. I cannot add an inch in myself on myself. I cannot add any anything on myself. It's only my maker who can do. So 
Just accept yourself and be happy about yourself. That way you'll find the best joy and the best fulfilling happiness within yourself. The other brook that we have is my family. My family. You have the nuclear family, you have the extended family, you have the all the members of your family. You know, was looking at those, uh, those. Uh, the, uh, sorry to go back again to the story that, to the, to the tragedy that hit the country la the, the few days ago, because I was looking at them and I was like, this is just about family. Because they love their family member, they have to go and celebrate with them. Because they have, they love their family, they, they love their family member, they have to give all they have. They sacrifice everything. They sacrifice their time. They sa you know, family is about sacrificing for them. If you want to get the best out of that well, out of that brook called the family, you have to sacrifice for them. You can imagine that baby who cries, just by the time unataka kutoka, that is the time he starts crying. That's the time she, she throws tantrums. You know, you cannot ignore that because she's part of you. She's part of your life. So what happens? You just find yourself going back. Yani, you're not pushed, pushed to go back. Unarudi, una, unaenda, unampembeleza kwanza, unakikisha kwa masasa, ako at peace. Then, wengine tunajificha. Kama mimi lewa asubui ni mejificha. Because being on a Sunday morning, oy, they want to have us all. Yani, wanatutaka tu tukwe hapo, wanatutaka tu like tuzungukane, and I'm happy. I'm happy when they are happy. Wacha tuzungukane tu, zungukana na wao. Let them feel your presence. Let them feel that you are there for them. Aki, you know, we have been filled with activities from Sunday to Sunday. Such that at our tuto wetu, they don't know whether we exist. Then the other thing that we should do, in order to get the best water and the sweetest water from this brook called the family, let us learn to appreciate one another. Just the way we are. You know, kuna yule mwenye, akitoa shati, anatoa mkono moja inabaki ndani, ingine imetoka nje. Who, how I fear that, because mi nachukie na hivo. Yani, sipendi kabisa. Mwingine ametoa, troza imeenda ju, na ingine imetoka nda. Yani, okay, ukona, you have a specific place where unaweka nguo zenye mmetoa. Ama, you have a laundry basket yenye unaweka. You have the place, you have the, the clock room where you, you store your dirty clothes. Lakini mtu amekuja tu ame drop hapo. Iwe ni mtoto, iwe ni bwana, iwe ni bibi. You just drop them. Like, umeorganize nyumba vizuri. Mtu amepita tu. Amepita na kitamba, amepita na neti, amepita na bed sheet, amepita na... You know, anaziacha tu zimeka tu hivi zimehang. Na we ulikuwa ume straighten. Siju kama umewai yona, kama kwa wale sisi wenye tunalalanga kwa, tunalalanga kwa bedroom yenye, kitanda na wall zinakaribiana. Unajua kuna zile zenye bedrooms, kitanda na wall, yani aziwezi patana mahali. Lakini kuna zile zenye kitanda na wall tumekaribiana. So, wall diyo imebeba dirisha. Siju kama unaona iyo, diyo imebeba dirisha. So, naju huku space imeisha, kitanda tumesongesha huwa, imeshikana na wall. So, dirisha siko tu pale. So, ndio ufunge dirisha ama ufungue what happens. <laughs> naona wengine, ni na waona nyinyi. Na waona wenye mnafanya tu kama mimi. Sinapana juu ya kitanda. Sinuena unafungua dirisha alafu na shuka tena. So, you can imagine, umespread kitanda yako iko too straight. Yani, wale perfectionists. Wenye tunapenda tu kitanda, ukiangalia hivya, kuna kabampa, kuna anything. Hata hakuna kakitu kenye kako raised. So, umepanda, umefungua dirisha yako, alafu na shuka. Pale tu ulipigia magoti, oh ye, yeah. inabaki tu potholes. Alafu unashuka unaenda. Then someone ke, comes, na ameacha kama metandika kitanda yake iko too straight, then anapata kitanda, poof, vile tu ma, ma, magoti zilipigwa, zimebaki tu hivyo potholes. How do you feel? Huh, acha nisiseme vile mi feel. We niambie tu vile ufeel hapo kwa comment section. Naona tu vienye unafeel. So, you can imagine that, that kind of a person. Mwenye, yani, you organize, he disorganizes. Unapanga, anapangua. Ni panga, na we pangua. Panga, uyu anapangua. Yani, someone who comes, we umesema tu vizuri, okay, tukikuja, ju e room, sasa ikona mtoto, tukikuja, aki, kama ni socks, toa tu socks zako vizuri, ziache ndani ya viatu, 
alafu sasa tutazichukua pamoja na viatu then tukishazibeba tuende tutukazisort mwingine anakuja anaangusha tu viatu hapo na hata hata angusha nje lazima afike tu karibu na mlango mahali carpet imefika the tips of the shoes zinakuja tu zinakanyanga tu hapo alafu sasa ametoa viatu enda kwa zile tu ah sasa mko aji mmeshinda vizuri mko poa you know ya, yeye kwake it doesn't bother him just appreciate that person correct them with a lot of peace let them know okay us, wasikufanye eti sasa wewe ni kustoop tu wewe ni kubend tu wewe ni kusema oh you know sasa sijui hata nifanye aji okay wacha nita hiyo nitaitengeneza hapana don't be that kind of a person but again don't tell them off that is about preparing good and sweet water from your well from your spring called the family then have love for them a genuine love you know what tunasema kwamba we love our families you know yeah i love my family yeah i love my the members of my family but is it genuine you know it's only you who can tell whether that love that you're showing is genuine and genuine love will not just come it is god given it is god's given because at the end of the day god is love and he's the giver of love so if you want to reflect the picture of god in your family you just need to show love to your family let it be genuine so ile akusema kwa mdomo just give a genuine love what is genuine love genuine love is not selfish genuine love does not is not filled with hatred Genuine love does not mind about our own. It minds about the other person's well-being. Genuine love will always make you sacrifice what you love best, what you love most for the sake of your family. And by by taking care of uh, of all these, eh, you can get sweet water from that brook called family because what you it is garbage in garbage out what you give is what you receive but then that is not a golden rule the golden rule says that let nobody dictate what you give out usinishautie eti kwa sababu mimi ukushautia usinitusie eti kwa sababu na mimi nimekutusi do two wrongs make a right it does not so if you want to get the best you should always not mind about what they are giving but what you are giving so uh, the other thing that you can do is to encourage the members of your family encourage them those who feel like they are giving up you know sometimes your husband or your wife or your spouse may come to you telling you you know aki kwetu kazini tuko na stress aki tuna stressiwa like every other minute we tuna stressiwa like every other time now what na wao unamwambia hmm mna stressiwa kwani nyinyi hamna mdomo ya kujiongelelea you know they feel so discouraged encourage them tell them you know better times are coming you might find god doing a miracle upate hata mmechangiwa me the management or you, you find yourself having a good or a better paying job you you know encourage them even as they leave in the morning tell them you know i know what you're feeling i know what you're going through in your place of work but i am, I am praying for you I am I, I am encouraging you to keep on trying, keep on pushing until God brings us something different. So you can encourage the members of your family. Then you can give them compassion. Show compassion to them. Compassion brings people together. Compassion brings warmth. Compassion makes people happy. Compassion makes people feel a sense of belonging, a place they want to be always. Let every member of your family feel like we want to drink from this well forever. Like wakienda nje they want to come back. If it is the big children who've grown, the grown-up children, they want to go and come visit mom, they want to go and come visit dad. They want to have their dad around them. They want to have that the family unity uh, growing daily they want the family bond to remain and by so doing we will always fetch the best of the water the sweetest of the water from that brook called family the other brook that i want to talk about are friends 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 oh friends sometimes friends can bring us joy sometimes friends can bring us stress and uh, kuna wakati nilikuwa nasikia about entanglement yani uko entangled like kuna mix fulani ume, umeingia 
na umeshindwa kutoka kwa hiyo mix. Yaani kuna kitu fulani tu umeingia ndani yake a, a relationship with friends eh? na umeshindwa tu kujitoa ndani yake. Not because not because you are happy but because sa zingine unashindwa utatoka like how. Yaani imekushinda tu kutoka. Do not stay in a relationship especially with friends who are sore to you. If you feel that this relationship mm -mm, just break it. Do not remain a slave. Do not remain a slave of what you're doing. Just be like I'm happy doing this. I'm happy with I'm happy with these friends. I'm happy that I have such friends like so and so. There is much we share with this friend. There is and you know uh, sometimes friends wanaweza kukuletea stress kwa njia gani? They are friends who are not friendly. They are friends who are not good friends. Yani they suck from you but wewe ikifika ni wewe who suck from them they are like they are so resistant. Like they don't even our let yet your platform ya wewe ku benefit from them. So wow they are only benefiting from you. Those kind of friends you need a uh, uh, break those relationships because at the end of the day that is not a well. And we are talking about brooks. A brook is a well, is a spring, a nice place where you can fetch cool waters that cools your engine. Can you imagine a friend mwenye ata hajuangi wakati uko stressed? A friend mwenye ata hajuangi wakati shida zimekusonga? A friend mwenye ata hajuangi what is happening in your life? Like mko tu, that is not a good relationship. That is a toxic relationship. Just break it and move on. You can get other friends, my friend. You can get other friends. And before you move on, you cannot find the joy out there. Then the other uh, brook that I want to talk about is about my source of income. That is my job or my business. You know, all of us, we are aspiring every day to get the best. To get the best job, to, get, to become the best in our businesses. We want our businesses to boom. So, these are brooks for ourselves. These are brooks where we get that water. Is a place where you get food. Is a place where you get clothing. Is a place where you get money for entertainment. Is a place where you get money for enjoyment. Is a place where you get money for bills. You know, this is a very important brook for ourselves. And if this brook dries, that is when people realize there is something missing in their lives. So, when you have this brook, there are people who are involved in this brook. Kuna mtu wakuchota maji, kuna mtu wakupaliria, wakulimia kisima, kuna mtu wakutoa mchanga kwa kisima. And who are these people? We have colleagues, you know. In any job, lazima utakuwa tuna yule kol. Ata kweni moja, ama wakweni wengi, we have colleagues. In every business, in every brook, in this brook, we have employers. If you are not employed, if you are not self-employed, you have an employer. These employers, they are members of this brook. In, every bro in this brook, we have employees. Who are these employees? They are the people who are working for us. And with these people around us, they make this brook to have either bitter waters or sweet waters. I want you to imagine that business of yours, the number of clients who visit you daily. Some comes when they are discouraged, others comes when they are bitter, others they feel like you're not meeting their needs, others come with noise within themselves, others come when they are fiery, others come like where? Sometimes wengine wanakupigia ata simu. And when you receive those phone calls, the whole day is spoiled. Now imagine that brook. Does it give you bitter water or sweet water? But at the end of the day, we said that a brook is that place where we are getting the sweet, the good, the cooling waters. So how do we make this brook to produce good sweet water? Number one, you must mind your tongue. Mind your tongue by all means. Akikuja na joto zake, let your tongue be a cooler. Akikuja na kelele zake, let your tongue bring them down. Akikuja kama ako discouraged, let your tongue speak words of encouragement. Akikuja kama ako bitter, you're not meeting their expectation, 
Let your tongue speak words of assurance. Assure them that there is something you are doing. And don't just assure them and sit. Assure them and work towards making your promises come true. Make sure that they feel that this person is encouraging us by taking us further than we expected. Do not just give a 20% that you promised. Go higher and give them a 70%. I mean, they will appreciate and they might not come telling you, but you will see the blessings that comes into your business. Another thing, be honest in your business. Be honest to your clients. Be honest to your to your, to, to your customers. Let them see an honest person. And the moment you become honest, they build trust in you. Who is the beneficiary? You are. Because they, it will, what you give it what is what comes back to you most often. Another thing, be courteous to them. Show them courtesy. Treat them like the value that you have for them. And you should not have a low value for your clients and your customers. Have the highest value. And the highest value for your customer means do not see them as so and so. See them as a person who is making you climb higher and higher. Every day, make sure that you show them that you value them. Again, do not treat them as so and so like who you anabaingi nyingi, who you anabaingi kidogo. A customer is a customer. When they come to you, do not give them levels. Do not give them classes. Treat them equally because equally they are valuable to you. Then the other thing, you should have a spirit of understanding. Please understand your customers. Understand your clients. When they are going through their ups and through their downs, please understand them. When they are in their highs, welcome them the way they come. When they are in their lows, understand them. And sometimes... You can even let them, you know, you can let them go, go scots free. So, ingine mwingine hata hakuna deni kubwa. Mwache tu, just for that day, as you correct yourself together and see how you can help them out. Show them that you are part of their problems. Show them that you care by understanding them. When they come to explain, give a listening ear and show them that it's gonna be well again don't let them to take advantage of you anyway but then let them let's let's show them a spirit of understanding the other thing be a tolerant person tolerate them do not just let them to stand on your back do not let them to make you lie down as they walk on you but then give some space for tolerance tolerance is a virtue and those who have it they have, they have it all. Those who have it, they will get the best. So show them tolerance. Wacha waone, uyu mtu, acha wacha waimbe tu sifazako uko nje. Wanasema kila wakati, uh, you know, mimi siwezi enda mahali pengidi. Aki yata nikipata kukona line inatosha na aji, I will just follow the cue. Kwa sababu hapo, aundio watu wenye uni understand. Let them sing that song out there. They are marketing you, they are selling you out there. But wakienda na sifambaya, again, on the other hand, you, you, you are on the receiving end. The other thing, be sensitive. Be sensitive to, to your clients. Be sensitive to your customers. For example, you may have customers when you work on a, uh, special needs. Do not address them like, Wacha huyo mwenye hana mkono apite kwanza. No, 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 no. That is not respect for them. Be sensitive on the issues that may hurt your clients, that may hurt your people. Be sensitive on the things that you may mention ziwa umize. Like for example, me, my business is in a school. And there is no way a parent will come with a child or will come, a client will come with a child and then wakati wamekuja tukopale tuneketi kwa meza, I'm telling them, you know, aki hui mtoto, aki hata nikimuangalia. Hata naona ajui kuongea. Kwa nini mwume mweka na hata ajajua? Kwa nini mwume na hata ajajua kuongea? No, 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 no. I must be sensitive because every other person anataka mtoto wake ajue kuongea. Anataka mtoto wake akue like, a, a, a grow the milestones venye wengine wana grow. You don't show them like, hey, hui wako wako nyuma, ati wako eight months. Ati wako five years. Na badu hata ajajua hata kuenda cho. You know, encourage them. Tell them, ah, Ni vile amekuwa nyumbani peke yake. Aki join wengine, utaona atajua kutumia poti. And I'm, I'm assuring you, it will not even take like two, two ata ata take three days. Kabla ajajua kuenda cho. Lazima atajua kutumia cho. Encourage them. But after encouraging them, 
and being sensitive that you don't mention those things that are so painful to them you don't keep pointing at the wood mahali wound iko usishinde ukiuguza hapo like unakaa ukimkumbusha every other time unamwambia you know last time si niliku last time unajua ulifunga ukiwa na ulikuwa na balances sasa tena unataka kuongezea balances zingine you know you don't know what that person was going through be sensitive even as you speak about the balances for last time know the language that you are going to use because this is a person who is bringing you water and who is filling water in your brook so that you can fetch that sweet clean and good water to cool down your body so be sensitive be sensitive with them and even as you become sensitive know that out there there are people who are looking upon them there is uh, you may be unaweza kuja hapa unakelelesha mwanaume unamkelelesha not knowing that kwake nyumbani mke wake anamuinamia watoto wake wanamuinamia sasa umekuja hapa umembelittle like even when you are a boss my friend don't belittle these people even the 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 the, 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 the junior most of them please sh uh, handle them with respect handle them like like human beings handle them like people who understands because awezi kuwa amekuja kufanyia kazi kama kwa mjinga they can, they know when you talk ill of them wanajua wakati umeongelesha vibaya wanajua wakati umewakasirikia to the top of your like your anger please be sensitive with them be like kwa tu mtu mwenye watu wanaweza kumwenvi huko nje watu wanaweza kupeleka sifa nzuri huko nje sijui kama mmeonanga babos wengine mtu like mtu akisikika kwamba anaingia kila mtu anakimbia mbio unarudi kwa desk yako that is not the kind of a person you should be because at the, at the same time wakati watu wanakukimbia it shows that your relationship is not good so if your relationship is not good what do you expect they will not treat you with with respect they will treat you with fear and so i had the four for today the four brooks in our lives and i wish that you will take care of them i wish that you will take care of each one of them because it is as important and until next time this is your girl milly and please keep watching keep subscribing those who have not subscribed please subscribe share widely with your friends it might help someone and bye bye now